Welcome back guys So today we are at a different location again today Yeah So today now we are gonna look some pirate everything everything we are gonna look but mostly we are look some parts if we find for my stuff of them up that side here it's been a it's been a while since we dive that side here guys I'm very excited to dive that side here because from the sea from the hurricane we don't think nobody dive up that side here yet so we excited to go and see what out there for with this morning. This guy kinda look overcast, but nevertheless, we are go out there. Water around look away, look shaky, shaky, but most like most more likely when the sun come up and they, they cut down. But the water look clean, but we, we not we not judge it. We not say look clean yet until we go in there so I go and the cast the water look kinda clean and when I go in there right mad but I was so hard going guys, so we are go there. I gears up and go there man. So stay tuned for the video. You know it's a long beard and it's one of the epic. Right now we have planned we have planned plan my stuff for the way in the water already. Yeah man. And don't have pint from pine clean. Barra we are gonna see barra. We don't know stay tuned man. I wanna I feel like say today are the day. But we are gonna get some nice fish. Just from the water condition good. Don't get so nice, man. Just stay tuned, guys. Just watch what I'm Yeah, man. Let me show you a view of the place, guys. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, in this area, the sea has been calm for persons to come and see it. It's really, really calm. So, that is why we, we believe nobody has come this side as yet. Yeah, so we might be the first to test down here. I know early in the morning, guys. Yeah, man. We left out from five, a little bit after five. So you know, say time early. Time all overcast, Marcus are good on there. Time overcast, but I feel like it's on come out later. So, guys, please remember to leave a like on the video. Yeah, man, also a comment. We are jumping in the water now and showing what we're going, alright? So, join me on the water now, guys. Let's go and have some fun. You don't know anyone, it's a spear fishing brothers, you know, man. And the water segment active. Yeah, man, alright? Let we go underwater we go right now yes guys before me jump in the water i'm gonna say a little word of prayer yeah man i don't know big prayer you know guys but i'll just say a few words yeah man so clasp your hands and close your eyes yeah man as if a school with it all right let we go father god as we go out into this water i ask for your protection guide and safekeeping tender mercy toward us lord i ask lord that you provide for us and keep us safe as we go on this journey in Jesus name alright so let everybody say Amen so jump in the comment section guys yeah man and everybody say Amen alright see rain have fall down that side there yeah so we are getting a rain see the rain there yeah the rain come to right round there so see the sun I try people right there so water shake your way like but we are good. We know we got our protect. We are alright, so just stay tuned. Welcome to another underwater segment with Spearfishing Brothers. The shallow part of the water was really, really dirty, so we immediately head for the deeper side. Just as I got out on the deeper side, I saw some fish here. It was a lot of parrots swimming around. There was a pink parrot there that was of good size, so I wanted to spear it. But as you can see there, it swam off, it didn't give any chance. So I chased it, made another dive on it here. This time I chucked it underneath the water because it wasn't moving that fast. Just as it stopped there, guys, guess what happened? Yeah, man. I put one in my face, guys. Yes, guys, but much of that one. It was early in the morning and this fish seemed to be hungry. So I even gave it something to fill the belly. Wait for it, wait for it guys, you're going to see what I gave it. Yeah man. So take a look at this guys. See that? You see where the spear went? Yeah man, straight through its mouth. Look at that. See that guys? Yeah man, I'm a very generous and good person you know, guys. So, don't know, I gave it something to eat there. This was my second dive, but I was using Marcus spear. He had mine. He previously made a dive at the same spot here and he speared a grunt. But his camera is giving problems. The battery is not working properly. So he's not catching most of the shots. So in this video, you're going to see most of my shots. He didn't catch everything because his battery is not working properly. 
So he sent me to spear this fish. When I went down, right here, I pressed the chicken, guys. You see that? Yeah, man, we pressed the chicken and guess what? We got no fire, it was on safety. So I had to surface and take off the safety. While I went back to the surface and was taking off the safety, Marcus made a dive and he speared the snapper. But as I was telling you, his camera is not working, so he didn't get to record that. Yes, guys, we have to get a battery. Yeah, man, because we can't afford to miss out on the shots here. So right here, Marcus made a dive. He went here to look for some grunts. So their holes were really, really dark. So Marcus turned on the light underneath their holes and was looking around here. There was a lot of small fish swimming around and also you can see that there's a laps, two lobsters there. Right there Marcus spotted one of the grunts. He took a shot and he speared one. Yes guys, so most of his shots you are not going to see because his camera battery is not working properly. When he turn on the camera, it comes on but by the time he reach underneath the water, it lock off. Yeah, so, we, so he didn't catch most of his shots. When spearing parrot fish, the shotgun is best to use. So what Marcus and I did today was, when I make a dive with it and shoot a fish while I string it, he takes the small gun and make the dive. So in the previous clip, he made a dive. So this was my dive using the small gun now. Yeah man, the small gun, what's he? Dangerous guys, yeah man, we love it man. Small gun, shoot the fish them, wicked. So right here, while I was going down, I saw a lot of guns going on under the stone. Every time I was about to fire, I saw one a little bit bigger. But then, I saw one come out right here that was of good size. So you don't know, take that one, guys. You man, I seen that it was shit. Broke, me broke him up, you know, guys. By right, you should have seen Marcus clip here. But Marcus camera is recording properly as mentioned before so this clip was my clip marcus made a dive previously and he speared a grunt and this was my time now i saw a few guns heading underneath this rock so i made this slow dive to go and search for them i also brought the light the light is really really good to use when spearing fish underneath holes yeah man can I show you them clear guys quite a few grunts was underneath this rock but they were moving too much that's why it took so long before I could aim one and fire but finally I got the chance with this one I saw the other them guys yeah man we need one shape and I got cool Marco saw butter jack here this fish turn and swam towards Marcus and Marcus made use of the chance the man he presented a good shot at this fish he was looking around here to see if any big fish was swimming around here and I was up there watching him the man we always look out for each other this one was a nice one guys the man bought a shot they always big and fat we were seeing quite a few fish in this area so we didn't move it was in the same area we were spearing all these fish a lot of guns is in this area this is mikey's gun spot so right here i made a dive for some more guns while going down i realized that one was on the right and about five was underneath the, the, the rock to the left right here i look on the one you see one there right and i didn't spear that one because i realized that the ones on this side was bigger but when i got there they went up underneath the rock so i didn't get any chance with them yeah so what i had to do was i had to go back for this smaller one this one wasn't a small fine one you know guys it was still a good size but the other ones was a little bit bigger so you see there i adjust and took a shot and spear this one you see that guys all that work when i could have speared it at first don't it yeah man shooting small fish is really a lot of work barracuda one shot i have a 10 pound fish one shot you have a 15 pound 20 pound even 7 pound 8 i don't know already guys yeah man so right here marcus made a dive he was going for a grunt we were still in the same grunt area 
Yes, yo, and the flashlight is guys. Yeah, man, if we didn't have the flashlight, we wouldn't have gotten so much chance with this fish. So right there, Marcus took a shot and he speared the gun. You see that it's on the spear? Okay, now guys, you see him look up and then he look back down. It disappear. It's like magic, you know. See me there, guys? I was looking at Marcus and saying, wait, where's the fish? Yeah, man, the fish disappear like magic, guys. We don't know until that fish escaped. Yeah, let's go with him. Right here, Marco saw a barracuda, so he started to pull up. You see that, guys? Yeah, money was supercharged now. Yeah, so right here, he made the dive on the barracuda. This was also a deep drop. If you look in front of where Marcus is diving, you can still see the bar. Let's switch to Marcus' camera now. Yeah, man, so I'm going to switch between cameras and show you exactly what I'm going, guys. See that? The bar will turn a little. Let's present a shot on it. Let's look at the shot now. Look at this. See that? He took long before he fired because he was taking a good aim. But guess what, guys? He presented a good holding shot on this fish. There's no way this fish would have escaped. Yeah, man, so when shot biting skin, guys, he starts swim up and down. But the shot was good. It was a good, good holding shot. So he just head back for surface. Yeah, man, and it has swim around down there, guys. You see that? And I was just there recording him and to give support. Yes, guys, so you see that? So, the guys, I watch him, you know, guys. That's how we dive, support each other. So right there he gave me his gun and the flashlight so that he could pull up the barracuda easily. While he was pulling up the barracuda, I was thinking about giving it a second shot to secure it. But when I made a small dive, I realized that this barracuda got a good shot. So I didn't bother to give it a second shot. I see all of swing my swing and run him around guys and can't escape. See that? Yeah man, we conquer this beast. This barracuda wasn't a monster or something, but it was still a nice size one. The weight of this one after we skin and got it was 8 pounds. After sparing that barracuda, Marco saw another one, but that one was wild, he didn't get any chance with it. So we decided to leave the area. Because we spared a lot of grunts there and now a barracuda. So we planned and continued the dive because we had a long way to go. While going down, I realized that the water got a lot dirtier. As you can see here, the water is really, really dirty. I saw a gold tail here too. So I made the dive to spare the gold tail. While going down, I saw a squab come out, guys. When I realized the squab was bigger than the gold tail, so I left the gold tail alone. Took a shot at the squab. I speared it, but it escaped. It wasn't a good holding shot. The shot only caught it in the head section, so I didn't get that fish. I watched where it was going, it went underneath this rock, so I had to make a second dive to spear it. When I got down, I used the light here and I saw it, and I took a quick shot at it, but I missed that shot. Because I was easing, I didn't get to aim it because this fish was acting wild. It's going to swim out on the right hand side. You see that guy? He's gone, guys. So while I was surfacing, I was watching it. You see where it was going. We had to make a few more dives, but eventually we got it. I made a dive here. I was underneath the water. This was Marcus' footage. Marcus saw two stuff here, but I made a dive to spear a gun. While going down, I really him. So right there. I head back for surface. While going up, I realized that he saw two snapper and was calling for assistance. This was my footage while I was making the dive for the grunt. This grunt was a weather grunt, it was also a huge one. You're going to see here when I realized that Marcus was calling. I'm going to look up on him, and you can see right here he was underneath the water as well. As side in this clip. Right there I spotted the snapper and we started to chase them. We didn't get any chance with them so we continued the dive. 
I saw a huge squab here, so I made a slow dive for it. It's really nice, guys. Right there. I was waiting for it to turn so I could get a shot on it, but it didn't. It swam off. That one was acting wild. Marcus speared a small squab here. He didn't get to record it because of his camera. Then I saw another squab and I took this one. It wasn't a monstrous one, but it was still a nice size one. Yeah, one of one of plate. And by one of plate, I mean one of these fish. Yeah, man, for one plate of food. Yeah, so you have a rice, so you can put one of these fish and your rice. Yeah, man, and you have a complete meal right there. A blue pink was hiding from me underneath this rock. I made a dive, searching for a fish, then I saw it swim out and went underneath this rock so I surfaced and made this dive to search for it I thought it was right there in front of me but it wasn't so I started to search the other side of the rock and I saw it there took a quick shot I speared it but it tore out it's saying gone guys but I made another dive again and I speared it I didn't record that though we saw two snapper here they weren't big, they were too small stuff. Huh? Mm -hmm. Marcus made the first dive on them. The bigger one wasn't giving him a chance. So Marcus had to pursue the smaller one. See that guy? He might try to swim for Marcus and Marcus had pursue. Then Marcus took a shot and he speared it. This was the second area we came to. So we speared the parrot fish and that snapper in one area. And right here was also in the same area. Marcus was here checking out a stone to see if he saw any snapper underneath it. While he was doing so, he was using my small gun. I had the tall gun and then I saw the snapper. So I made the dive on it, took a shot and I speared it. That was a long range shot too and also a difficult shot because the fish they weren't giving us the broad side so we have to shot them from the tail and that angle is really really hard to spear them from you have to be deadly dangerous to shoot them like that yes guys you have to be accurate or you won't get a chance with these fish so right here marcus was surfacing he was looking on what I speared because he didn't know I saw the snapper because he was underneath the water when the snapper came as mentioned earlier and he was checking out That's me sure I'll come out now I'll come out and shoot him in the body I can't even see you here, hold it, let me take you Yo, don't tell us to see me, hold it, let me take out the snapper Let me take out was telling me there that he speared the dog to the snapper but I told him that he was underneath the rock Right here, I was pulling up the snapper that I speared. I didn't pull it up while I was surfacing because when after I speared it, I didn't see that the gill open, so I didn't pull the spear. But when I surfaced, I realized that the gill open, so I could just pull up this fish. You see that, guys? It had to be a tail shot, but it was a good holding shot. This was Marcus surfacing from the second dive underneath the same stone he speared a grey snapper and it tore off again so it speared two snappers underneath one rock a dark teeth snapper and a grey snapper so he made a third dive to look for them while he was making the dive another snapper came and I made this dive to spear it while I was tracking it, it was heading off to the deep so I took another long range shot and speared this one in the tail again yeah man, that's a classic shot that you know guys and this was the same area so today we only dive in two areas and speared all the fish that you see us with yeah man no, they're not a gear broad side they're not a gear broad side you can't dive off a bird you have a fish, you make it go to the deep you can't dive off a bird, you can't dive off a bird, you can't dive off a bird Marcus was telling me there that I dive on the fish wrong and he was correct. I should have went on the outside and dive so that it went in the shallow area. But I dive on the inside and it was heading off to the deep. However, we still got this fish. 
so right here i was showcasing my catch see that guys a lovely string marcus had a lovely string as well but he couldn't record all his shots because his camera battery is not as mentioned earlier marcus saw pink part here so he decided to spear this one because this one was a big one so he slowly glided on it. This fish was hiding beside a sea ship. But by the time Marcus reached, it swam up and didn't give him any chance. See that? Gone like a bullet. We were still in the same area that I spared the two snappers. And guess what happened, guys? Another snapper came again. Yeah, man. This area was a lot of snappers. The thing about it was, these ones wasn't really, really big. So Marcus made a dive here on this one. This one was wild. It wasn't given any chance. I say swim up. So Marcus was trying his luck. He took a shot, but he wasn't successful. This was the last clip in the second year. And guys, after that, we fired no more shots. The water was dirty. We couldn't see nothing at all. Nothing, guys. Nothing at all. And where the water started to get dirty wasn't even half of the dive. Yes, yeah, so we had to call it a quit early, early on. So, guys, join me out of the water now. Let me explain what happened. Yes, guys. So, we just come in. Mikey. This is my catch. Come yeah, on. My catch this guy. I said just jump up and go this up. See that? Oh, my catch. See General Mikey, we are him no gas in a boat. We come in, come see me boss go and dirty. The healthy parrot. My god, Mikey. How about how much for this lobster this? Lobster a big boss mash of a nice mutton too. Yeah man, I show the Marcos catch now. Guys, me say. Where will I catch a Marcos? Yeah man, ah, look come on. Marcos catch here guys. Yeah, hey, me never see water so dirty yet. Me never. See that guy. Are you are you always a guy to start clear water? You never find clean water come down. Mount a fish, that string is going to full. No, thank you. See that guys. Yes, guys, so I have shown you catch a little bit better. Yeah, man, look at me. I have to talk to Mikey. Hey, guys, I have the most me ever fear. I'm afraid when I go see from there. When we are come down, guys, one piece of dirty water. Like the river run out right here, sir. The river where they're right there, so we can actually see run out, guys. I see from right. That we come in from um, the right hand side. You see from how we up so little after we dive out, less than more than um three quarters of the dive. Three dirty water guys, we have to swim through dirty water come straight down. We can't see no ground, nothing. Let me see if Marcus or Marcus, we have to say. Why well, I water I never we are dive. Dirty. Right side if we are thinking about sun back and go. Yeah, the current all like it change and the dirty guys. The dirtiest water we ever see, but we give thanks. So make it even alive. Yeah man, so we make it even alive. Yeah guys, one at a time I come on the corner right out there so I may say, Marcus, so I tap and chat. I big tap and to the Marcus so we don't have shot that me see the tap. If 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 the boy never said dirty, I think there are close to me. I'll be turned over my shoe. Yeah. Either right, you just have me last right at the middle. Yeah, because we're coming for the rock corner. Shadow. So I'll be yeah. turned over my can't shoot. But me me, me not shoot in that dirty water. Now when you shoot for the young girl, so you can't see him. You can't see him guys. Mr. Marcus, when, when, you when me see me now, when me see me say a shark, you know, me I say we're dead you now. Me I say see shark here, Marcus. How oh, me look at it up? Me think I'm a shark. Guys. But we have to thank God for protect we and keep we safe. Yeah man, I will still get a lovely catch. Yeah. The catch nice guys. May I say if you say the water they clean, we now have string pick out on your fish them guys. We now have string Marcus one. Yeah man, Marcus one next bar too. But the bar that is wild. 
snapper then when I shoot I same place to shoot the snapper Three fish marker shoot I one place and I get it And I see a rock Tell them what I'm going to tell you Tell them what I'm going to tell you So I'm going to go to the movie shop and I'm going to see that That fish I'm going to shoot The movie there, he's shooting me Yeah, he's a fish And he's gone, so with the spear I'm going to say I'm going to take that and jam, you know my look I see space that move. I see stuff that I've gone to. I see space that I've gone to. I'm going to go back and go back. Alright, I'm going to go back now. I look at these two glasses if I'm going to see them. I see one. No more stuff on them. I'm going to stop them. I'm going to stop them. God bless. No, oh. mangrove. Mangrove stuff. Mangrove yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, we call them grey stuff. Boom, I'm going to shoot it. Shoot it by the way. It's alright. They look at it. It's not in the same thing. It's not in the same thing. Dark is the dish at all. I'm here looking at the sun, I'm so nice, good to me. I look at the sun, I'm so nice, good to me. I see that, I'm so nice, so I'm good to me. I'm going to shoot and go to me, I'm going to dry, I'm going to dry. I'm going to see the eagle, the whole thing is going to be a good one. I'm going to see the eagle, I'm going to see the eagle. I'm going to see the eagle. Three fish. Three fish, right there, one rock. Right there, one rock. With a fill, with a fill, yes, man. And I see him place my shoot the two stuff at them. The yeah, same place when you shoot yeah. three and you get to the same place when you shoot the two stuff at them. Guys, I saw the next big mountain stuff at them, but you run far away. The water is not clear, guys. So, you have to finish cleaning up after we don't clean up the show on this thing, alright? Yeah, man. Yes, guys, I see that. Nice, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.